We as humans have a deep connection to dirt. To us, it is life in so many ways. It feeds us, nurtures us, filters our water, and just like us, it is alive. Sadly, we often treat it as if it were dead. Our rush to meet the demand of feeding a rapidly growing population, currently 7 billion, with a projection of 9.3 billion by 2050, has resulted in a trigger response leading to the overuse of chemical inputs. Now, despite our best intentions, this life-giving source is stressed, fatigued, wounded, and rapidly disappearing. The nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. The high cost of feeding the world can be felt all around us. It is measured in human as well as environmental terms. It is estimated that since 1960, one third of the world's arable land has been lost through erosion and degradation. Runoff from chemical fertilizers into our waterways has created marine dead zones. Skyrocketing costs of inputs have encumbered small farms, leading to the extinction of many. The situation being so dire in India that thousands of farmers have committed suicide. There is a disturbing decline in the overall nutrition of our food. And of course, there is a huge shortage of food, bringing about food riots throughout the world. So, how do we continue to care for our planet so that it can feed our people today, tomorrow, and in the distant future? Fortunately, there is a better way, a brighter path, and we call it Sumagrow. Sumagrow increases crop health and yields while decreasing input costs. And it does so by working in harmony with nature, not against it. Sumagrow has the potential to change the way agriculture does business. Now, you talk about being on the cutting edge of agricultural technology. Now, here we are. Sumagrow is the culmination of years of study and research by some of the top minds working toward more sustainable agriculture. They were able to develop a unique patented combination of different strains of microbes in high concentration, sourced from naturally isolated soil microbes. Adding this rich mixture of concentrated Mother Earth to the soil creates a nutrient-rich and fertile environment. Healthier soil means healthier plants, which means healthier consumers and a healthier world. It's a polymicrobial multifunctional uh, formulation for sustainable agriculture. Sumagro provides a variety of valuable benefits and on a broad spectrum of crops. Some of these benefits include increased crop yields, the reduction or elimination of fertilizers. And we eliminated applying fertilizer in the fall, the residue spray, applying fertilizer in March. Now we uh, basically plant Roundup Ready corn, spray it with Roundup, use the Sumagrow and nitrogen. Increased resistance to extreme temperatures and drought. The results were that during the worst drought I've ever seen in my lifetime, I grew grass in areas that I've never grown grass in the past. Increased plant nutrition value. Healthy, vibrant soil teeming with life. And so I've left a 30-year career 
with the USDA to come and push this product. Sumagro has been listed as a substance allowed without restrictions for use in organic production by the Organic Materials Review Institute. Since Sumagro's introduction, it has received numerous awards and recognitions, including being chosen as the best of what's new product by Popular Science Magazine. It was the grand award winner in the green technology category for its ability to increase yields, eliminate fertilizer dependence, reduce watering needs, and improve the environment. More and more people are discovering just how significant of an impact Sumagro can have on our ability to better feed the world in a way that is sustainable. The challenges we face in continuing to feed ourselves while protecting our limited and vital resources are daunting. Sumagro is one revolutionary product that offers hope. But we must act now. Time is running out. Join the Sumagro revolution and help change for the better how and how much the world grows for ourselves, for our children and our children's children. And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer.